you're a person like me who uses their computer to do their daily work, you might know that having multiple displays is a huge deal. This increases productivity so much. Whether it's two screens, three screens, four screens, just having multiple displays on a computer just helps productivity. But if you're a person that travels around a lot, how are you gonna actually carry a screen around? I guess you could put a screen in a backpack or something and then carry it around, but then you also have to deal with plugging in the screen and wires, and it just becomes a huge mess. I guess you could also take a look at USB displays, which are nice, but that's an extra amount of money you have to spend. Now personally, I'm running a MacBook Pro Retina, which is my main editing machine, but I also carry around an iPad a lot, so I'm wondering, can I use an iPad with my Mac? There's been a lot of apps that have promised an iPad to be a secondary display, but the problem is all these apps require a wireless connection. But that's at least until Duet came around. Duet is a fairly new application, but it uses the lightning cable to connect to your Mac to act as a display. Now obviously you're gonna have to go buy Duet in the App Store and then download it onto your device, preferably an iPad, but then you're also gonna have to go to your Mac and install the Duet application from their website, duetdisplay.com. After a few minutes, you should have the Duet application installed on your Mac, then simply just open Duet on your iPad and have your iPad plugged in your computer, and it should automatically start working as a screen. The Duet application really just makes your iPad a secondary display. If you go into the system preferences, your iPad display is even there. Now, if you want to adjust any settings in Duet, you can click on the Duet icon at the top of your Mac and it brings down a drop down menu. Click on the gear icon and you can see all your settings. Now the settings you're going to have to pay attention to. I recommend to have the frame rate as well as the performance at the highest mount possible. This way you can get the best performance out of the display. But now the resolution is something you're going to have to mess around with. Now there are three resolutions I can choose from for my iPad. Regular, Retina, and High Resolution. The regular resolution is okay, I mean it gets the job done but it doesn't look as clear as like a Retina MacBook Pro screen, but on the other hand the Retina mode makes the screen on the iPad look perfectly fine, just like a Retina iPad screen, it looks great. And then the high resolution includes the Retina picture quality, but it also makes everything smaller because it's a higher resolution which is great and all, but unfortunately that uses up even more power from your computer. Even though Duet Display claims to have no lag at all, it kinda does. It might not have like internet lag, but it has some lag while moving around the mouse and also just surfing through web pages and whatnot. At least this is in the retina and high resolution modes. The lag isn't always constant, which is why you might want to change around the resolutions just for testing purposes, but I will say the regular resolution works flawlessly. The regular resolution is enough to watch YouTube videos, browse the internet, go through finder files, and even play a game like SimCity 2013. Now I can't recommend you playing tons of games on this Duet Display application, but it is possible. But what is really awesome and something very practical is if you're a video editor and you want to use multiple displays on the go, I can simply just open up Final Cut like I have so now and use the iPad screen as my viewing screen and then using the MacBook screen to just go through my timeline. Although using Final Cut on the iPad and MacBook Pro is cool, what about just doing simple tasks on a different computer? Because my Retina MacBook Pro is really powerful. What about a another computer that's less power? So I took out my old MacBook Pro from 2011. This is the 13-inch one with an i7 processor, but only an Intel 3000 GPU. So not that fancy, but connecting the Duet display to the MacBook, it actually performed just the same. And I have to say I noticed really no performance drop, everything seemed to work perfectly fine on the MacBook as well as on the iPad display. Now I did do some research and I think on older Macs like their past like 2010, 2009, some of them don't always work great with Duet Display, but the developer does know this and is working on it. But really, I just have to say that Duet Display just works really well, whether it be an older MacBook or a brand new one. Now, there are some kinks and stuff that need to get worked out, but overall, it works as stated. 
And if you don't have an iPad, you can actually also have it plugged into an iPhone. Like I have an iPhone 6 Plus and it works perfectly fine. I don't know why you'd want to do that. I mean, the iPhone 6 Plus is a very small screen compared to a 15 inch MacBook or an iPad. But hey, if you want to do it, it's also possible. All right, guys, so there is Duet Display. What do you think? Now, if you don't have an iPad, don't go out and buy one just for Duet Display. It's probably not worth it. But if you have an iPad, or if you have an iPad coming to you, Duet Display could be a really awesome application, especially if you're a person that wants productivity on the go. I'm a video editor, so I would love to have multiple displays on the go, and guess what? Now I can. Although Duet Display claims to have no lag, there is still a little bit of lag, not really with the regular resolution, but with the high resolution and the retina, there is a little bit of lag, which should be worked out because the developer does know of this problem, so the developer, I would expect to fix those problems in future updates, so I'm expecting Duet Display to get better than it already is. Overall, do a display, I would recommend it. Having multiple displays on the go is just awesome. At least in my opinion, I wouldn't recommend gaming and stuff on it all the time, but if you want it for simple productivity, having multiple displays on the go, watching videos on it, it's great. Anyway guys, that's the video for today. Like this video, subscribe, share it with your friends, help the channel any way you can. Anyway guys, my name's Eric, this is Tech Inside, and I'll see you in the next video. In a next video? In the next video. Yeah. See ya. Thank <laughs> you.